Hi guys, it's Little Kansas Kitty and I welcome you back to my journey. I had the RNY gastric bypass surgery on June 25th, 2018, so I am about 19 weeks post-op. I started off my high weight at 238 pounds. Last week I came to you and I weighed 171, and this week I weigh 169. So that means I lost two pounds in the last week, and that's awesome because I, it is my time of the month, and so I've seen the scale fluctuate a little bit throughout the week, but I am down to 169, and I'm down 69 pounds total. I'm so close to the 70 pound mark. And stay tuned because when I hit 75 pounds down, so that means when I hit 163, I'm doing my next giveaway, my 75 pound down giveaway. So hopefully that'll be in the coming, very, very near future in the coming weeks. Um, I can't believe that I'm 19 weeks post-op. I mean, I still remember watching um, like Numi's videos when she was at 19 weeks and thinking, oh my gosh, she's like so far along. And um, so, so pretty awesome that, you know, I'm over four months out, loving this, um, haven't really cheated. I still have the dreams. Last night I had another nightmare and um, I was eating a bag of chips and I'm not even a salty kind of like carb type person. I just love my sweets. And so I was eating a bag of chips in my dream. And then um, I remember I finished like a whole bag and then I had a whole nother bag of chips. And the feeling, I remember the feeling in my dream of just like, what did I do? What did I do to myself? And I woke up and I was like, oh, it was just a nightmare. I have these dreams all the time. Do you guys have those dreams? Where you're like binging I don't know I just I dream about it but and then I go to reality I'm like oh, I love my reality I love the control that I feel so feeling lots and lots of love this week um, lots of compliments are coming out this week um, whether it's just kind of in my work and my social community um, or the weight loss surgery community just a lot a lot of love so we have this maintenance guy in our building um, we call him mustache he's a little awkward but um, you know he's just a little dorky and he came by and I um, ran into him in the hallway and he was like, have you lost a ton of weight? And he's like, you've lost a lot, ton of weight, haven't you? And I was like, yeah, I'm down almost 70 pounds. And he was like, you look great. And he gave me a big high five. And so that was, that was kind of awkward and fun. Um, let's see, a lot of coworkers are complimenting recently. Um, one of my coworkers, she was like, you look so good. And she's like, you don't need to lose any more weight. And I just went back to stating my goal, which was really important. I was like, thank you. You know, I was like, thank you so much. And it's like, I, I'm getting closer. I have, you know, a goal and I just really want to get to healthy BMI. I want to lose a hundred pounds and I want to get to healthy BMI. And she got it. She understood. She was like, yeah, I get it. She's like, I've always struggled with, you know, not being at a healthy and always being in the overweight category. So, um, I just think it's important to state your goals out loud, um, to others that way. Um, they just don't, you know, none of that negative comments. And I've mentioned that in a video before I come along another coworker. She, she could not stop this one day. I had this um, dress on and she was like, you look so good. You look so good. And then she stopped me later. She's like, you look so good. I'm like, wow, <laughs> thank you. So, um, anyway, feeling, feeling a lot of love. Um, I, uh, got some really nice goodies in the mail too. So this has been over the last few weeks and I just like this weight loss surgery community is so awesome. Like so awesome, so positive, so loving, so encouraging, so supportive. Um, I love you guys. I love all of you. I love watching those of you that make videos. I love those of you that are um, just kind of quietly watching and may hit the like button or and, you know leave a little comment below. Um, I on Instagram a lot of a lot of love there and. 
you guys are so, so nice. So um, I received um, from Donna's Happy Place, I'm gonna link her channel below. She sent me, I won her giveaway, and she sent me um, a little candle in the mail, and this is um, lemon poppy seed scent, and um, one of her friends makes these actually. Mm, so sweet, so sweet. So um, thank you, Donna. That was so incredibly kind of you to ship from um, Massachusetts. Then from Arkansas, from my dear friend Rachel, I received this awesome book, Brain Over Binge. And so um, it's something that she's reading. She struggles with binge eating disorder. I am a binge eating disorder um, struggler, patient, whatever. I, I did a, you know, a couple years of therapy in this. I, um, I, I'm not binging right now. I've, um, you know, four months out and I'm, I'm doing really awesome with my food and diet and control and everything. But um, this is going to be really great to dip into and, and kind of read about this gal as she goes through her story and um, just kind of a powerful um, note at the beginning um, says that an eating disorder provides solutions to one's problems in life and is not simply about food and weight. And that is, that's so true. You know, when when a person is binging, it's their solution to whatever problem or emotion they're feeling and going through at that moment. And it's not always about the food or about the weight, it's about how you're dealing with emotions. And um, that's definitely what binge binge eating was about for me. She just mentioned, you know, let this be another weapon and um, kind of our, you know, arsenal um, towards towards overcoming and being, you know, powerful over over this whole process. So fun, fun read. Um, my mom already saw it and she was like, um, sorry, this lighting's a little crazy. <laughs> I didn't notice. Um, my mom saw it by my bedside and she was like, um, she's like, I want to read that. I want to read that. And I was like, okay, let me dip into it a little bit and then I'm going to give it to you to read too. Um, and then, so, so kind. This week I received a package from Addie, um, such a sweetheart from the gastric couple. And she sent me like five dresses and a swimsuit cover up and Oh my gosh, so sweet. She has a little boutique, I think, that she's closed. And um, so sweet. So this this is one of the dresses. The rest of them are um, a lot, lot even more summery and springy, but they're such cute patterns. Um, I am so excited because I did try one of on and one of the little um, like rompers on and it is so tight it does not fit right now and so all of them are mostly size medium so I'm really looking forward to wearing them um, in the spring uh, of 2019 so thank you that was just so sweet so kind of you to send send that package so fun to get that goodie in the mail from North Carolina um, my diet bet, I mentioned that I uh, joined a diet bet a few weeks ago, it ended, and I am so happy to say that I won my diet bet, you know, my own, against myself, so you wage, um, I had to wage $40 um, to uh, lose 4% of my body weight in the month, and I lost a little over 7%, so um, I was kind of looking through the history of my diet bet games, and I've, I've lost almost every single one, and they don't call it a loss, they call you a runner-up if you don't win, so against yourself, so i um, really, really excited to get my money back this time, and maybe a little bit more, I don't know who, today's the last weigh-in day, so I'm not sure um, how many in the pool um, were winners. But, but but fun, positive thing there. Um, I went to dinner with some friends this week and um, some of my running friends. And um, I ordered some soup. And I ordered some, like, it was some kind of, like, chicken quesadilla kind of soup. And um, we had so much fun. Like, so many giggles. We were just such a good night out. And um, I didn't realize, though, that the soup had corn in it. 
and um, a few weeks ago I had like a huge major clumping issue with corn kind of um, getting stuck and I am so sticking away like staying away from corn so um, that was kind of interesting I had to sit there and spoon out all of my little you know corn kernels out of my soup so it took a longer and I probably got full even faster with that but anyway um, my lesson has been learned no no more corn um, let's see we did at dinner time we did schedule a run together so we ran together on Thursday morning and it was so fun like even though some of them are way faster they slowed down for um, a couple of us and I, and it actually brought my pace up like I was probably um, a minute to a minute and a half faster which is insane like insane than um, I normally am at my pace and so it really pushed me and um, it, it was really good so we have scheduled every Thursday morning to run together and I think it's gonna really help me kind of increase my pace um, I'm running now five days a week so I started off at seven days then I went down to six days and now I'm down to five so I run Monday through Thursday and I'm um, at about seven miles a day on Monday through Thursday and I will increase that to eight miles and that'll be my max that I'll go to um, during the week before work and then on Saturdays I do my long runs so this morning I did a 15 miler 15 my longest in a long time in many years so um, I got really really tired at the end um, but um, it was great. I um, planned my route around where my brother and my friend Carol were running and you know I can't keep up with them but um, I did plan my route and I knew that I would probably be um, coming towards them. I did some looping around just wanted to be in the same area and it was um, in the Lakewood area lots of lakes and just beautiful homes and um, I knew I would um, approach my Approach them around 10 miles so when I hit 10 miles we were right on a bridge right at a lake it was beautiful the fall trees and I crossed over I saw them ran over there and we like stopped we had to stop our garments real quickly and um, we just you know kind of gave each other a big sweaty group hug um, took a quick picture and then um, wished each other you know great rest of our runs and continued on when I finished my loop back because they were only doing 12 today um, when I finished and I got back to my car I had the sweetest note for my brother so sweet he left a note on my car and um, I'm just gonna insert insert it here So, so, so sweet. Um, feel, like I said, feeling a lot, a lot of love this week. Um, I am noticing that um, people are really nice all of a sudden, um, whether it's just, you know, the love and the compliments and everything. Um, I'm noticing a lot of men um, looking a little bit more. Um, and um, I had uh, my son had basketball tryouts this week. The basketball coaches were really nice to me. Um, I'm getting compliments pretty much daily by our founder, which um, I don't remember getting those at a higher weight. And um, she's being really, really extra nice to me lately. Um, so it's, um, you know, it's, you kind of wonder if, are they being nice to you because now you're thinner um, or um, are they being nice to you because you're putting out you know more positivity and more confidence and um, and uh, just kind of my inner happiness that is that coming through so it's one of those things that you kind of do think about um, as you interact with you know people as your weight kind of um, comes down um, I I do think that in our world that people find it easier to talk to um, healthy people versus obese and um, our perception though ourselves it does change too when we feel more confident you know we're just putting out more um, more positivity 
So anyway, I've been kind of thinking about that a bit this week. Um, I do know that in this world we do judge and it's not okay. And it's just a reminder um, to just like not judge on appearance and to really take the time to get to know people for who they really are. Um, cause we definitely all know how it feels to be, you know, treated different. So, um, I do believe in the law of cause and effect and what you put out in this world, you get back. So I will leave it with just keep on sparkling and shining. Take care.